Yo, let's go, show boys. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this effect right here. All right, bet. So first, what you want to do is you want to drag in your music video. I already have mine dragged in, and you want to cut it to where you want the transition to happen. First, what you want to do is go to this tool right here, and you want to roto brush out your character. All right. Once you're done roto brushing it, you want to click freeze right here. Once it's done, it should give you this prompt right here. Then you want to go back and your background will be gone. And you want to basically do the same step for the second clip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright bet. So once you have both clips roto brushed out, now what you want to do is you want to duplicate both of them. And you want to, on the second duplicate, you want to delete the roto brush to bring back the, back, the background. Alright, now that you did that, you want to click on the one that has the roto brush, which is the top one right here. And you want to click P on your keyboard. You want to click this time stop right here click that drag it to here and then click it again and then you want to press s on your keyboard and click the time stop drag it to here again and then hit the keyframe now you want to press u on your um keyboard and it'll prompt you with this now what you want to do is you want to zoom in with the scale tool right here and it'll start to become bigger um you don't want to do it that much because you want it to be clean so i would say to like right here is good and then there you go um now what you could do is you could highlight all these keyframes and click f9 on your keyboard to easy it, to easy ease it all right and then you want to go over here and click motion blur this will make it a lot cleaner and let's let me look at it real fast all right so to add some touches you want to add blur s underscore blur to your um roto brush character you want to keyframe the blur amount and then you want to go to the end and put it to like let's say 45 all right that's good that's good now what you want to do is you want to go to your second clip click on the um, layer that has the roto brush and then you want to um, add the effect s underscore blur again all right so you want to highlight this, stopwatch, click it, and then you want to put the blur amount to zero, and then drag it to, I would say, like about here, and then you want to put this up a little bit to where it looks kind of blurry, and like, it's kind of seamless to how this looks. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's not all that right now, but we're not done yet. So, the effect that adds the little um, mist effect, I linked in the description. It's like a little overlay that you could put to make this look like the original. So, what you want to do is you want to go to this part of the overlay where it's about to take off you want to cut it and then you want to click your um layer with the overlay layer and you want to uh right click and then you want to go to time and then you want to go to enable time remake all right and then you want to keyframe this uh start of it and then you want to bring this keyframe right here all the way to like about right here and as you can see it's kind of um seamless in a way but we're not done yet because we still have to color it so 
what you want to do is you want to add an effect called tint you want to take this little uh eye drop right here and you want to put it to where your um character is as you can see this is a little bit dark so i'm gonna put it up to like about right here and then press ok and then you want to scale this up and then there now we want to add s blur again then you want to put it to like right put the blur amount to like right here yeah that's how you make it and yeah that's what you get now to add um an impact to add an impact to make this a little bit more seamless you could highlight all these uh right click three comp select these two press ok and then you want to go to where the transition happens which is right here and you want to right click on any area doesn't really matter adjustment layer and then you want to cut it and then i'm just gonna um drag on any shake it doesn't really matter and there you go that's how you make this mist effect guys uh make sure you guys subscribe like the video and comment if i should keep doing these uh tutorials